Joining me now is Rosemary Aquilina. She is the judge who sentenced Nasser to 75 years in prison for sexually abusing female gymnasts. Judge, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It was 40 to 175 years in prison. I want to talk about that sentencing. Again, you gained some national attention for what some called a unique approach to this. Uh, during his sentencing, you said, I just signed your death warrant. Did you think that something like this could happen? Well, first of all, let me say I just signed your death warrant did not mean I wished him death, nor did any of the sister survivors. That meant that they were safe and they wouldn't have to worry about him anymore because that was what came through with all of their testimony was, I want you to go away. So I wanted them to know that's exactly what would happen. He wouldn't walk a free man. Uh, this certainly was foreseeable and safety is a human right inside and outside of prison. Uh, his rehabilitation has to be inside prison, but hopefully a safe stay. No one wishes this on him. Your reaction when you saw maybe the push alert on your phone today um, talking about the altercation with him in prison? My reaction was one of sadness. I wish him well, but I was disturbed when I read the article and heard the news and the prison is claiming a manpower shortage when actually we have technology, if there's a manpower shortage, that could be used for his safety. This is completely foreseeable. And you can ask for more money. This is now going to cost a lot of money to the public, the taxpayers, not just for his recovery, but in prosecuting someone else. And also, I would say he probably has a civil claim against uh, the federal prison. But the question overall that I had immediately was, was this willful neglect? Did they turn a blind eye because it was him? Right, because that was my question. You know, somebody like him, he's a high profile inmate. You'd have to assume from the outside looking in that there are going to be a lot of eyes on him. How do we get to this point? How did this happen? I, I think it's truly willful neglect. And uh, now it's under the guise of, well, we don't have enough manpower. And that is simply not the truth because we do have technology. We do have a government who knows these are problems and you ask them for money. They put money everywhere else. We must have safety over money. And this is a complete failure, another, I should say, complete failure in our justice system because the job of law enforcement and safety, they are our safety keepers, right? Doesn't stop at the prison doors, it extends inside it. Now, I know you mentioned this, uh, Nasser doesn't exactly have a lot of friends outside of prison. Um, any guesses as to who would wanna harm him inside? You know, that's really a loaded question, but it's one that comes up a lot and not just for Nasser. Those people in prison, they have families outside and they don't like sex offenders. They simply don't like it. It is a known problem. So why weren't there known precautions put in place? So a lot of people are out there aiming not just for him, but for other predators. So where's the extra protection? Our constitution demands it. I think as people, we should demand it. This is cruel and unusual punishment that he has suffered and it is the fault of the prison for not uh, man manning it properly. I, I don't know how else to look at this. Is it kind of surprising for you though, somebody who sentenced him to so many years behind bars to be sitting here somewhat, uh, I guess, in his defense? No, because my job is not to wish death on people. My job is for safety. Again, when I said, I just signed your death warrant, it was one sending a signal to the girls that they were safe. Uh, I uphold the Constitution, and it says we all have a human right to safety, the way I read it. And we, fa we fail Nasser. We fail all of those people like him. We know that there are blades and other things that enter the prison or are makeshift uh, tools that prisoners use against each other. Why aren't we looking at that problem? Does this affect his sentencing at all? No. Okay. All right, uh, Judge, thank you for your time. We so appreciate you joining us. Appreciate your insight here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.